Something most men don't want to talk about, and many of us might not think it's something that can be treated without a little blue pill, but that's not the case anymore. There's a new non-invasive drug-free treatment for erectile dysfunction, or ED, and here to tell us about it is Dr. Jeffrey Britton with the Texas Age Management Institute. Hi, Dr. Britton. How are you? Hi. How are you? So we just mentioned, I mean, nobody wants to talk about this, right? But this is something we should be talking about because so many men are affected by it. Yeah, exactly. It's a... Some people say it's a, over 30 million men, probably more, in the United States alone. So just in the U.S., that's about, I mean, that's 10% of the population, 20% of the population? Well, it's a, a total men's population, you're talking about 20% or one in five men walking around may have ED. One in five? One in five. No matter their age? No matter their age. And as we get older, our chances of experiencing ED increase dramatically, right? That's correct. At age 50, there's a 50% chance of ED. Age 60, 60 percent. Age 70, and so on. So, what's the cause behind it? It's vascular, vascular, vascular. So, vascular is like our blood vessels, right? Like right. Tight, tightening of blood vessels. Well, actually, the blockage of blood vessels to have to have a, a good erection. A man must have very strong blood flow to the penile area. So, and what are some of the factors of blocking it? Because it's not, I mean, is it just in the lower region of your body, or is there stuff going on in the rest of our bodies that affects that area? Yes, of course. Well, part of the, part of the problem is that the blood vessels uh, in, in the penile area are very small. So they're subject to trauma, they're subject to disease, such as diabetes, uh, and high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol. So, and as we grow older, these vessels may just grow smaller. Now, Dr. Britton, you were uh, born and raised in Houston. You've had your private practice here since 1988. Right. Uh, you've seen all kinds of cases like this. And when Viagra came along, that really sort of revolutionized the whole, you know, ED experience for a lot of men. But that has side effects, a lot of people are finding out. And it's even led to some deaths. Yes, I I exactly. It's, it does have its place for treatment in some men. But it's not for everybody, particularly with some people that have heart disease, or even undiagnosed heart disease, uh, because because it, what it does is dilate the blood vessels not only in the penile region, but also all over the body. All right. So moving, I mean, your solution for this, you're not talking about using drugs. You're not talking about pain. You have a whole new way of treating ED, and it all starts with this machine right here, right? Yes. That's okay. Correct. Can you tell me about it and show us how it works? Well, it, it's a it, it's a Pulse sound waves, very low intensity, very low frequency. Uh, another variation of, of this therapy would be lithodripsy, lithodripsy, which they use for for uh, dissolving kidney stones. So that's so using sound waves to, using to break sound up waves. the kidney stones. It came out of the research from the uh, from uh, during the World Wars when it, with the uh, with the detonated charges underwater, and they realized that 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 sound waves externally actually can exert. Uh, biological uh, function inside the body. Is it true that this has been used in Europe for decades? Yes. So why, is, why are we just getting it now in America? That's a very good question. Uh, there, uh, FDA may have something to do with that. It's been, it's been published for a number of years, but uh, Viagra has, has, has been... Dominated the market. Has yeah. dominated the market. So I guess the important thing to focus on, though, it is here now, and uh, can you show us how it works? Sure. Like maybe, I mean, sure. demonstrate on my arm so, or you know, a safe part of the body for TV. Oh, wow. Completely painless. Don't break the skin. So they're just sound waves yeah. pulsing through my arm? Right. We, we actually use a little ultrasound gel. All right. If you, if you can look at that, you can see... A little bit of redness there. You, you, you have some redness. So some of that is from the pressure. But what you're doing is stimulating the vasculature or the blood vessels underneath. And this is how it works. The pulse sound waves actually work on the erectile tissues inside the penis. And, and help with the with the increasing the blood flow and actually stimulating new growth. 
new growth of new blood vessels. Right. Because without a good, a good solid or strong uh, a blood, blood flow, you're not going to have an erection. Well, and I have to say that, I mean, for people at home who may be wondering, despite the sound that it makes, which sort of took, right. you know, surprised me, right. uh, it, I felt no pain on my arm right. at all. So we use a little gel on it, and, and that actually facilitates the sound waves penetrating the tissue. But there's hardly, hardly any bruising. It's painless. You don't have to take any, any pills, potions, or injections, or anything like this. So essentially, we're seeing a picture right now, before and after, just of the way the blood flow uh, moves through a blood vessel, right? That's correct. Uh, that's before and after. The blood vessels on the uh, on the left are a little bit constricted, particularly the red ones. But after therapy, what happens is the blood vessels start to dilate. How many treatments would someone need, and how often would they need uh, to go and have this procedure done? It kind of depends on the individual, but, but uh, it can range from 3 to 12 treatments, about 20 minutes a time. And, and, and what have, I mean, what have the results been like for most of your customers, your it, patients? It, of course, it depends on the individual, but, uh, but some people talk about 75 percent, 50 to 75 percent, but you have to understand that it's not just, we're not just dealing with this particular area, we're dealing with the more global issues. Uh, a lot of people have some complicating lifestyles, they're overweight. They have high blood pressure, they have diabetes, they have uh, elevated cholesterol. Uh, also, there's been some studies that suggest that people have periodontal disease, gum disease, have higher rates of ED. You're kidding. Uh, no. So, so is, it, is it the disease itself that's contributing to ED, or is it the medication treating these other ailments that's contributing to ED, or do we know that? Well. <laughs> It sounds cliched, but, 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 but everything is related to everything else. So people are taking medications and, and uh, sleeping pills, antidepressants, uh, other medications that may have an adverse consequence on, on, on erectile dysfunction. That's clear. So what, what I do in the office is to look just not at that area, but look at the more global sense. The is there something picture. we can help you out with? Look at your testosterone level and see if that needs to be, that we need to supplement that. Listen, we're we are just about out of time, doctor. Sure. Sorry to interrupt, but two points very, very quickly. Who is a candidate for this? Number one. Is anybody a candidate for this? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Yes. And, also, yes. and how do you start the conversation? Because for a lot of guys, it's a sensitive issue. Well, we're... We start out very honestly and openly. Uh, and and I, first of all, when I see a patient, I don't even bring that up initially. I'll talk about other health issues, uh, what, what they want in life and, and what is going on in their life. Well, I guess the important thing, though, is no matter how you start the conversation, it's important uh, whether it's with a, a partner, a spouse, a friend. You know, we all experience well, it at some point or another. As our you lives, well right? know, men don't want to talk about this kind of stuff because it's embarrassing and humiliating, and they don't even want to talk about it with their partners. But it needs to be discussed, and it needs to be addressed. Agreed. And I'm glad you're discussing it with us today, Dr. Thank Brenton. you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Folks, if you would like to schedule a free consultation with Texas Age Management Institute, just call 713-271-0705, or you can visit their website at texasagemanagementinstitute.com to learn more about that treatment, which is called the Gaines Wave Treatment. And Dr. Brenton, thank you again. Thank you. That was good. Thanks so much. There